Some bandits from Big Barry's group, apparently. Big Barry? Yes. Does that name ring a bell? Not really. He kind of pulls out some notebook and starts flipping through it a little bit. After a few moments, he actually just writes something down and says, Well, do you have any uh, information on this, Big Barry? Very little. The, only the bandit that we captured. I just, I, um, I chime in. I think he might be big, and I believe his name might be Barry. Yeah, that's pretty much what we got. That, that's <laughs> what it sounds like, yeah. We'll uh, go off of that. The bandit claimed that his base is somewhere in the forest? Really? Yes. Hmm. We actually might be able to take you in the general direction of there. That sounds interesting. Well, since you guys are uh, new recruits, uh, why don't you guys go and uh, mop up this problem? I'll actually send one of my uh, people out to get you, because attacking our people is a seriously bad thing, so we need to go and take care of this, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I would think it would be a big offense. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it is frowned upon for attacking, you know, open civilians I just, I just, that are just going around. I just need to nudge the dwarf a little bit. I got it. You got what? And it's like, I, saw, I just like tune my head back. These people have no sense of humor. <laughs> oh god, my pen. <laughs> oh no! Uh, so, um, I'm not entirely sure your um, approach at anything, so actually, why don't I send in a couple of people? So we've got Caius and Marie are open right now making a few more notes in his notebook uh let's send in two groups okay uh why don't we have one as like an advanced scouting group making sure that they understand what's going on maybe take care of a few things that need to and one group that wants to come in and clean up all right mop up everything take care of this big berry etc uh which guys which group would you rather be in like, in general. I'm up for a cleanup. I'm I'm for a I like to be in the front lines. <clears throat> well, I would prefer all of you uh, being in the same group, so if you guys wanted to be in the cleanup, we'll go ahead and meet you up with Caius, if you want to do that. Yeah. Sound fair enough? And he can assess how you guys work together as a group, and we can... I Hello? If that's okay with the I've rest of my crew, then yes, we will do that. Your crew? Your crew? Well, when did I become your crew? Or my friends here, my colleagues. I don't know who you're calling friend either. You're assuming a lot. <laughs> okay. My... Okay. I watch my colleagues. I prefer that. <laughs> assuming oh, my... Friends. Of course you were... Acquaintance? Hmm. He's associates. No. Are we done here? I'll agree with the. Did you just call me an ass? <laughs> an ass. <laughs> You're a chicken. Are we you done? Like a done here. I'm oh. done. <laughs> Whatever they want to do, I don't care. <laughs> I just want to kill something. Well, then obviously we've got our option. For the name of justice. Justice reigns from above! <laughs> Everything reigns from above. Just clean up, doesn't it? Okay, so uh, I'll send Kaius down here in a little bit, and we'll get you guys all set up. I just need uh, to write down your names, make sure we get that, and I'll get you guys all set up through the guild and such. Sound fair? Yeah. Okay. Sounds, that sounds, sounds good, good to me. Nice to meet you. All right. Goes and he writes all of this down in his little notebook and pockets that and uh, leaves you guys to the rest of your meal if you like. Actually, no, I'll go to grab some food to see what I could get to eat if there's anything remaining. Uh, there seems to be some uh, cold chicken left over and like bits of ham that have just been 
kind of left. It's not warm food at this point, but all of that. Uh, I think there is some bread that's kind of sitting there that's still out. I take um the bread and I take the cool chicken. I just sit next to the nearest, well, any open seat I could find. I want to know if this is cannibalism. That is cannibalism. <laughs> You're a halfling. Can do you eat shortcakes? <laughs> I can eat just about anything. <laughs> Oh, you <laughs> nice <laughs> burn. <laughs> I like this bird man. I like uh, you too, dwarf. I hope you get your drink soon. This, oh, this I need drink. all the drinks. <laughs> I believe Belmark will be hit through his uh, third drink by the time all of this ends. Oh, uh, wow. There is a person that comes up towards you guys who is heavily armored. Uh, his skin is actually white, uh, white and scaly, and he is a dragonborn, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Fostroda, to you as well. Say. Come here often? Dovakin! Come here very often. Uh, my name is Caius, Caius Whitaker. Uh, so you guys are planning on doing the cleanup? That is You're right. coming with, baby. Yes, I will be assessing the situation and making sure you guys don't get in. Sound good? Well, Sounds good. You know, last time I uh, injured my butt, so I'm going to need you to keep a close eye on that for me, Nix. He tries to wink at you, but he actually just blinks. <laughs> <laughs> I go up. I look at this. I look at all this happening as I'm just slowly chewing a, a chicken. A chicken leg. Ah, uh, interesting. What jokes can be made of this now? That is a nice set of armor. Who, who crafts your armor? Jokes, Birdman. Oh, this Sorry, actually this uh, happens to be of dwarven make. Uh, had it when I was in uh, Fire's Peak not too long ago. Oh, I thought the craftsmanship looked familiar. Yeah, maybe we could introduce you to that armor smith. I don't know, we're not... Uh, we're probably a bit of ways away from there yet, so... Huh, maybe after a few missions, after I make a little money to yeah, upgrade sounds... my gear. Definitely, yeah. Anyways, Marie has already sent her and her scouts forward. Um, we kind of got the uh, lay of the land from uh, Philip already, so we know where we're headed out to. So I think we're just gonna head on horses and head out. Sound good? You ready? Yeah, we don't sure, get any rest don't... first. Do you uh, want what to? Time? What time is it in the day? Uh, right now it's kind of late. We can head out now, or we. I think cover of night would probably be best. I look at them with my bird eyes. No. <laughs> yes, let's go. Attack during the night would be most to my taste. I can see at night, so that's chill. I'm as blind as a bat, and I'm a bird. Okay, sure, let's do this. I'll be your eyes. <laughs> Poor chicken. I try, like, I try to open my eyes as wide as I can to look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought crows had good night vision. I'm not a crow. I'm a bird. There's a difference. <laughs> hey, chicken. <laughs> Uh, I'm smarter than a crow. You are smarter than a crow. I believe myself to be more of a blue jay, honestly. I can sing ah. very well. Yeah, Kenku do not have any special sight, unfortunately. I have wings. That is a bad part. Oh, what was this guy, uh, this dragonborn name again? Caius. 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 How many? Oh, I, uh, can I take back it over to the halfling? What's um? What's the halfling name again? Or oh. what's your halfling's name? Oh, uh, Gita. Spell that. Um. Y e a t t a. Okay, I was like, uh, I beckon you to come a bit to come over. You wanna hear that joke now? Oh yes, I want to know the rest of the joke! Please tell me! <laughs> okay. 
A cat, a dog, and a bird walk into a bar. The cat orders a shot of whiskey. The bird orders the same thing, and the dog as well. When the cat gets it, it knocks it over and says, another one. The bird sees it, it looks at the glass and sad. And the dog just looks at it, it's happy, and then licks the bartender. I'm not that good at jokes, but I hope that made you laugh. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Caius leads you out. He's like, well, now that you've gotten uh, something to eat, uh, let's uh, ride up some horses and get moving. Sound good? Hey, right. So, Dragon Man, you got scales everywhere? That ribs what for is her our pleasure? plan of attack? Well, uh, we're just going to go up the road about where you guys were. Uh, we're going to hear from Marie uh, where specifically we should charge in, and we're hoping to charge in. All right. What well, are our numbers? Uh, not sure. Well, that's why we're meeting up with Marie to actually. But we've got you guys and me, and we are the cleanup crew. Okay, sounds good. Um, okay, interesting. I kind of want to just like stealth and see if I can just like make myself seem less visible if I can, as less visible as possible. Well, I mean, when we get up to the point, yeah, but. Right now, we're just trying to head out there, so... Okay, okay, okay. Sound good? Yes. Alright, so you guys are led to the stables and handed several horses, and you guys head off on horseback. Uh, you don't have to make any animal handling or... I was about uh, to say. (laughs) These horses are nice horses. These horses are nice horses. Uh, They're kind of built to be able to just get people from one point to another, and... They're taught to not worry about their rider as much. So, they just kind I'm, of go from point A to point B. I like you, horse. I'm gonna name you Chil- Shirley. <laughs> Shirley. <laughs> yeah, Shirley. Shirley, you jest. Uh, by the time you guys get back to the forest, uh, it is nighttime. Full on. Uh, full moon? Stars? Clouded? Uh, let's see. There is some clouds, but not too much. God damn it, really. My D30's in my other bag. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's about a half moon right now. Okay, so reasonable light? Yes. Okay. Uh, Another half a moon and you'd boys be in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a the full moon! moon. Uh, uh, I guess do we have to worry about a perception check around the entrance? Oh, is everyone out of oh no, because we have scouts ahead. So they'd let us know. So you guys have uh, mounted, and I'm just fast forwarding to where you guys were attacked right now. Okay. 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 It did take you a little, a uh, few hours to get out here. But uh, where you guys were attacked, there is right now, standing in the middle of the road, a uh, tiefling woman who is uh, wearing some uh, dark cloaks and uh, just kind of sitting there, tapping her foot, waiting for you guys. Guys comes up and waves. Marie points off into the uh, forest there and says, Okay, we've took... We can take care of a few of the forward scouts. Uh, you can probably just go straight on in this way, but I would recommend actually go farther down and then back behind them. We can use it as a distraction. You guys can go for the main tent. There are three tents, and there seems to be about 12 of them right now. We can flank. Sounds like a plan. Marie Hello. says that's what we're planning on doing. Sounds fair by me. All right, give us about 20 minutes, and Wait. we will take care of our end. If we take the leader alive, do we get paid more? Uh, Caius goes to say something, but Marie interrupts him, saying, These guys are scum. There's no reason to worry about that. That's my type of woman. 